Hello guys, subscribe to Intersplay and don't forget to hit the bell icon to get our latest video faster. Thank you. Hello guys, you're watching Intersplay with me neighbor. So I'm gonna tell you about something uh, Bluebird attack, uh, which is the tech news portion of this uh, uh, channel, and uh, I'm sure you're gonna think that you should know this, and I also think you should know this. That's why I'm doing this, and uh, by this I'm gonna tell you every bit of Bluebird attack and what is this. So let's continue and let's watch the video. Hello and welcome guys. I'm Neva, your host. You're watching Interplay Tech News, and I'm gonna tell you about Blue Bolt attack. So, uh, what is this thing? I'm gonna explain to you everything so you can know. Uh, what is actually blue bone attack you have already got the idea that it's something about bluetooth uh, by the symbol but i'm gonna explain it to you right now so if you are using a bluetooth enabled device be it a smartphone laptop smart tv or any other to do device you are at risk of malware attacks that can carry out remotely to take over your device even without requiring any interaction from your site it's strange right but it's real you don't need to give them permission you don't need to give them anything you also won't even notice that your data is someone stealing uh, by this bluetooth method but uh, actually this attack is called bluebird it's a it's kind of a hacking method uh, via bluetooth so actually the security researchers have just discovered total eight zero day vulnerabilities in bluetooth protocol that impact more than 5.3 billion devices from android ios windows and even linux to the internet of the things so uh, these devices using the short range wireless communication technologies using the vulnerability security researchers at lot uh, means the uh, iot or something you you say which is actually the internet of things it's short form it's iot so using this vulnerability security researchers of iot securities from a uh, aims have deserved an attack dubbed blue bolt this this term had come up with their mind that this is should be called blue bolt attack which could allow attackers to completely take over bluetooth enabled devices spread malware or even establish a man in the middle connection to gain access to the device's critical data and networks without requiring any victim interaction how strange is this thing is, is actually happening but uh, if you are taking guys maybe you should know there are lots of hackers and there are lots of ways to hack this device nowadays but these things actually they are getting from the bluetooth devices and nowadays everything you name it you uh, name it anything from your tv from your to your uh, speakers your phones laptop desktops different kind of operating systems they're all enabled right now with bluetooth and this uh, hackers are using these devices to send malware stuffs to that also can they can steal data all and uh, all an attacker need is for the victim's device to have bluetooth turned on and obviously in close proximity so the attacker uh, to the attacker devices so if you are your phone or your laptop or your any devices are in the range of that bluetooth zone and it, if it is turned on they can steal it and they can spread malware to your phone it's that simple so moreover successful exploitation doesn't even require vulnerabilities devices to be paired with the attacker's device uh, uh, because as i said it's like uh, when you don't need to pair that device means you don't need to accept that particular person to connect with you but they can still steal it now uh, this is a uh, also a section under the blue bone which is called wormable bluetooth attack what it is i'm going to show you uh, and means i'm going to tell you something like uh, about it so you know what it is actually so that's more worrisome is that the blue bone attack could spread like wormable wanna cry ransomware that, uh, that emerged earlier this year and wrecked 
हैक ऑफ बाय डिस्ट्रीब्यूटिंग लार्ज कंपनीज एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशन वर्ल्ड वाइड मींस दे फर्स्टली अटैक योर डिवाइस देन दे आर गोना लॉक दैट डिवाइस पर्टिकुलर परमानेंटली एंड दे विल डिमांड फॉर सम रैंसम और इफ यू आर नॉट गिविंग द रैंसम मनी टू देम देन योर डिवाइस इज कंप्लीटली गॉन Ben Suri heard of research team at Armis Labs claims that during an experiment in the lab his team was able to create a boot net network and install ransomware using this blue bone attack so however uh, seri believes that it is difficult for even a skilled attacker to create a universal wormhole ex- uh, exploit that could find bluetooth enabled device target a platform together and spread automatically from one infected device to another so uh, uh, they actually said unfortunately this set of capabilities is extremely desirable to ha- hackers bluebone can be serve any malicious objects such as cyber espionage data theft ransomware and even creating large bot uh, botnets out of iot devices like the uh, mirai botnet or mobile devices as with the recent wirex botnet i may say uh, this this actual quoted things which i say to you it's actually his, his uh, words uh, and uh, the blue uh, blue bolt attack vector suppresses the capabilities of most attackers with uh, vectors by penetrating secure air grabbed networks which are disconnecting from any other network including the internet now how can you prevent it maybe you are thinking that okay uh, i got the idea that what you are trying to say i can be hacked in using if i use bluetooth and uh, if the hacker says it's it's in my bluetooth range right so i'm going to tell you something about it so you can prevent it the security firm this was already disclosed the vulnerabilities to all the major affected companies of a uh, few months ago including google apple microsoft samsung and any uh, big companies you name it and it's there samsung and linux foundation uh, the v- vulnerabilities includes now how they are doing it so number one is information leak vulnerability in android it's uh, the code is cve 2017 means the year and 0785 remote code execution vulnerabilities in android bluetooth network encapsulation protocol services the number 3 is remote code execution vulnerabilities in android bnep's uh, personal area network which is called pen profile the uh, number 4 is uh, the bluetooth pineapple in android logical flaw number 5 linux kernel remote code execution vulnerabilities number 6 linux bluetooth stack information leak vulnerabilities number 7 the bluetooth pineapple in windows logic flaw number 8 apple lock energy audio protocol remote code execution vulnerabilities so uh, this actually this uh, these are the vulnerabilities which includes this kind of attack and uh, if you want to prevent it you have to go one of those things Now Google and Microsoft have already made security patches available to their customers while Apple iOS devices running the most recent version of mobile operating system that is uh, 10.x you know and those are safe actually uh, Microsoft released sec- uh, security updates in July and customers who have Windows update enabled applied the security updates are protected automatically we update uh, they say that to be updated to protect customers as soon as possible but as a responsible industry partner we uh, white held uh, disclosure until other vendors could develop the Uh, the development release updates a uh, microsoft uh, spokesperson said this i i i don't know actually his name but it's work of microsoft so what could be the worst case if the, in this scenario if all ios devices with 9.3.5 or older version and uh, over 1.1 billion active android uh, devices running older than marshmallow which is 6.x uh are vulnerable to the blue bone attack maybe now you are thinking about switching to apple right apple 7.0 or something like that uh, i mean apple uh, 10.x or something like that 
So, but uh, don't worry, uh, they are actually, the companies are actually going through this process and they are uh, continuously uh, thinking how to prevent these things so the user can uh, use these Bluetooth services uh, safely and the ha hackers uh, cannot hack this. More than a million, million of smartphone Bluetooth devices running a version of Linux are also vulnerable to the attack. Commercial and consumer oriented Linux platform which, uh, which, is act, uh, which is actually called uh, Tizen OS. Uh, I don't know if you guys had heard it or not, but it's a uh, Linux OS called Tizen. Uh, there is also Blue Z and 3.3RC1 uh, are also available to uh, at least one of the Blue Bone perks. Android user needs to wait for security patches uh, for the device. If you're an Android device, you may be thinking to that your company is not separating your Google uh, but it's not they're also continuously thinking and uh, trying the ways to prevent these things from your phone um, and uh, but right now Android uh, user guys you have to wait for some time uh, because they're actually researching this method so they can prevent this thing as it depends on your device manufacturers also uh, so in the meantime, uh, they can install Bluebone Vulnerability Scanner app created by Armist team. So uh, you'll maybe find it in Play Store uh, somehow within few days or uh, some uh, or few weeks maybe. So after that, uh, you can uh, go check if their, their devices are vulnerable to Bluebone attack or not. If found vulnerable, you are advised to turn Bluetooth uh, Bluetooth uh, turn off on your device when not in use so this is all about this blue bone attack uh, what i actually told you everything and what you guys need to know about these things so uh, this is my message to you that safe uh, be safe and uh, safely use your bluetooth devices and uh, when you are not required to be connect to another person or another thing uh, another uh, mobile device or bluetooth enabled device just turn it off for yourself okay so that's it guys for this video i'm uh, gonna sign you off right now i'm neymar you're watching display this is the tech news and so goodbye and uh, i sh um, think you're gonna subscribe to our channel so that you never miss our any next video so bye bye guys i'm signing off Hey guys, so here we are. I hope you liked the video which you just saw. And for more video, you can click over here. If you want to subscribe to my channel, if you haven't yet, just click over here down below. You'll see our logo icon. Just click over here and you'll subscribe to our channel. If you want to follow us on the social media, click over there. There are all links down below. And you can see our Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, Twitter, all the links down below and uh, i'm gonna signing off right now and comment that you like our videos or not and if you want to improve for anything just comment below and i'll reply to you so bye bye guys i'm signing off see ya